<laughs> hey guys, it's me. No glam goat today. I'm back at work. Um, anyways, I have on like a every item that we just got in our November boxy charm. I don't think I have ever been able to use every single item at the same time. And like I'm actually happy with them. Um. First thing, my old blind self has to find it. I have the cover effects, the glitter drops. Now y'all know, these are some gold things. Gold, 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 gold things right here. Okay, I just took, and I'll tell you what, I don't, I suspect there's not as much in that jar as you think there is because I've only used about maybe five or six drops so far, and I'm already getting smaller drops. So I think that it's like down at the bottom. Anyways, the first day I just used it straight, which was awesome. But after that, what I've been doing is I have, I'm not sure if you'll even be able to see this. This is the Perlice, Perlice. For lice, I don't know, however you say it. Uh, the BB lotion. And I've taken a couple of drops of that and mixed it with a couple of drops of the glitter. And seriously, it's supposedly, I mean, if I really look, I can find glitter in there, but unless you're right on top of it, you can't see the glitter. Or unless you've got like lights right here, I'm I I don't feel the glitter. I don't see the glitter. I know there's glitter in there, but really not enough that I would even call them glitter drops. They're more like sparkle, shine drops. I don't know, rays, little rays of sunshine. Really pretty though. I I am liking it. Might not even last till Christmas. All right, and besides that, okay, um, this is actually an Ipsy brush, but all the rest of these brushes, I'm missing one. Who am I missing? Ah. Are um, the Alomar brushes and our Luxie brushes that we just got in this box. Um, the Alomar, obviously a previous box, and on my eyes today. <laughs> I'm using the Ace Beauty, Beauté, Beauty Mus, whatever. Uh, what is this? The Grande, Grandis palette. Um. Grandis palette. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, this is, I'm going to use it, of course, all month so I can do my, uh, my review on it, which I'm going to have a review on everything because I'm really using everything. But I use every color today with the exception of these two. So, um, you know, so far I've got like uh, three different looks out of it and I've been happy with all three I'm trying to you know like today I think is something that's a little closer to like most people's normal um you know I'm trying to just do some different things I, I mean I enjoy the glam but I do realize that a lot of you guys can't can't do that whole thing every day so I'm going to I'm going to try to tone it down a little bit more, but still be able to use that. Um, now why doesn't this fit back in here? That pink and uh, I don't know whatever those two colors are. They're beautiful, but you know whatever. Okay, what else have I got here? Ooh, <clears throat> this stuff. Now, I'll tell you what, this, at first, it was, was a little bit of a fail because I tried to actually clean my brushes with it. Like, you know, my brushes that 
probably should have been cleaned a while ago. Mm -hmm. But I'm finding if you just leave this where you put on your makeup, um, as you as you apply your makeup, let me get one here. We'll use the Lux. Um, you know, when you get done with your brush, just immediately pick up the stuff. Put a little, a little spray on there. Use clean fingers, clean fingers, to just kind of get it in there a little bit. And then just sort of wipe it dry. I don't have anything to wipe it on right now, so we're just going to do this number. You know, drying. But um, it really, really comes up nice and clean so um i mean I'm, I'm not sure that i'm the person that's going to sit clean my brushes every day as i use them which is really how this works best but for now it's fun you know i might not do it every day forever but for now it's kind of fun and you know it's kind of neat having clean brushes <laughs> Okay, so that's what the cover drops, the palette, the brushes, four thing. Okay, there's one more thing, and where did it go? <gasps> Are you serious? I lost it. I know it's right here. No, 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 no. Where is it? Right here in front of me. I swear, sometimes I'm such a dip. Anyways, it's um these tweezers, which at first I was like, okay, tweezers. What am I going to do with tweezers? I mean, really, it's a $12 pair of tweezers. I'd rather have the $12, you know. I mean, that was my first thought. But then, um, because I've never actually... Tweezed, <laughs> teased, tweezed, but then I decided as long as I had these fancy schmancy tweezers, I was going to do something with my eyebrows. Now, I'm scared to do too much at one time, so I'm only doing a little bit, but um, this one, there was a whole bunch of sporadic long hairs that were dark right here, and I took those out. Um... There was some some in here that I took out where it was real thick up here and then it kind of ends here. I didn't touch the tail because I don't really have that much of a tail anyways. And then this one, um, same thing, was a little thick up here so I cleaned that up a little bit and I just, I, I just ended here. I'm thinking I'm, I might take a little bit more out right here. But not really do too much, you know, and I'm only working underneath because of the the hooded lids. I figure I need as much landscape as possible under the brow. So, I don't know, what do you think? Do my brows actually look any better? <laughs> I don't know. And it wasn't, it wasn't near as painful as I thought it was going to be. And my method, because I see a lot of people just going in like this. I'm like, oh, no, no. I don't have good enough depth perception to do that. I will definitely stab myself in the eye. So I just kind of get where I'm, you know, able to close them. And I go up, because I'm taking out the underneath and I'm not really going to work on the above part, I come up from underneath, whoa, grab a hold of one and yank that puppy out. So what do you think, guys? Like all the boxy charm items, all of them. You know, I'm like, wow, really, boxy charm, awesome. I'm really looking forward to boxy lux next month. And there has been another little change. I retired the stroke of, wow, 
The last time I used the Butter London Stroke of Wow mascara that I've been using forever, uh, this eye began to water. I mean, like, like I was crying, you know, like big fat drips of water running down my face. And it started just as soon as I put that mascara on. And, uh, I mean, just knowing how long I've been using it, I, I, I figured that's probably what the reason was. So, I am now using the Circa Mascara. Not really sure how I feel about this. I don't think it lengthens. It might thicken a little bit, but it doesn't look like it lengthens very much. Um, and it's got the, the primer. You do the primer side first, which is like got a really weird kind of a bushy little wand on it. And um, it's very wet and like weird. And then this one also has a strange... Not near as wet, but also has kind of a strange, you know, wand on it. Um, anyway, so I'm not sure how long I'll be using this before I give up. Or maybe, you know, I, I didn't like Stroke of Wow when I started using it. And it just sort of grew on me and, and I began to really like it. So who knows, maybe I'll, I'll start to really like this too. It is pretty though, isn't it? What a nice... You know, what an attractive mascara case. That's, you know, case packaging. At any rate, that's what's going on in this neck of the woods. So, um, oh, and I even have, I don't know how many of you might recognize this. Uh, this is a old boxy charm. Um, from, I, I forget when, but it's a Cover FX Shimmer Veil in Amethyst. But I just put a little on my finger. Tap it on over existing, uh, lipstick. I use it a lot, usually over like a liquid lippy. And um, I'll tell you what, this actually dries down a little bit. And even if you have a lippy that tends to not be very matte, it will, it will help it to kind of it prolong the, the length, make it last longer. You know, why am I getting all complicated? It'll help it to last longer. So... How are you liking your boxy charm this month? Um, you know, do you have a favorite? Is there something that you really hate? Uh, like I said, the tweezers, I thought that was going to be a big bust for me because I was like, what am I going to use tweezers for? And I'm kind of amazed that I sort of like them. <laughs> like, how weird is that? Who knows? Maybe by the time BoxyCharm is through with me, I will actually have decent eyebrows. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, you know, those of you who have been uh, subscribed for a while know that I'm going through a uh, palette use. I'm using all of my eyeshadow palettes, every pigment in every palette. And um, this week I'm working on the uh, gingerbread Face gingerbread that I just got that Glam Goat actually ordered for me. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, I just posted uh, a little review on uh, makeup face cleansers that you know, like, really make life a whole lot easier, that are a lot, a lot more. A lot more, a lot easier on the pocketbook than um, the pharmacy. The pharmacy is a cool, I mean, it, it's it's really a cool product, but there are other products out there that work just as well, just as quickly that, you know, the big difference is they just don't melt when they hit your face. I mean, that's, that's the cool thing about the pharmacy balm is that when you put it on, it sort of like melts. 
you know. Um, although, I gotta tell you, the, the Noxema will do that a little bit if you don't use too much at one time. So, you know, um, but I do reviews on things like that, you know, I'll try to find things that, you know, we can use that won't hurt the pocketbook so bad so that, you know, we can buy more stuff. <laughs> If you're not already a subscriber, hit that button. Please subscribe. Also, you know, hit the notifications. We have a lot of fun, and you don't want to miss any of it. Uh, you know, don't forget to hit the like button. And give me some comments. Let me know. Comment below. Is there something else that you guys would like to see me do a review on? Um... Let's see, we've done eye primers, we've done face primers, we've done concealers, and now we have done face, uh, not cleansers, but makeup remover. Um, you know, is there, is there something else that you guys would like a review on? You make me some suggestions, and, you know, I'll start trying to collect some, some products so that, uh, you know, we can... Find out the, the real stuff. So, until the next time, I hope you'll wake up dancing every single day. Bye-bye.